We have a new product. Um, this is actually one that I'm pretty excited about, the uh, Zwingaway adapter. It's pretty simple. It's for turning regular mat boxes into Swingaway mat boxes. Do you remember uh, at uh, Syngear how it started, what it looked like? Yeah, well, this, uh, yeah exactly. Huge almost pound uh, size monstrosity there. It was great, man. We showed up with this thing at Syngear and people were just like, I want it. They want this. This thing was huge. Look at that, like a pound. But what it did, people loved, and they were like, holy smokes, why didn't I think of that? It is great. All right, so let's see the finished one. Finished. finished one. Wow. 6.8 ounces. 6.8 ounces. So a lot lighter. Wow. A lot more useful. And what's great about that is, like what we're trying to do all the time now, is keep the front end light, especially with these new cameras. You got to keep the front end light to keep it balanced. Otherwise, you're just fighting that, and your shot's going to look like crap. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, you got to put more weight on the on the back end to help balance it. You know, there's the whole whole lot of issues. I brought this as like an interesting little example. This big swingway map box weighs two and a half pounds. Here's a smaller version that weighs how much now? It's uh, one and a half pounds. I mean, what a big difference! A pound on the front of your camera means a pound on the back of your camera, you just added two pounds to the, to the weight of your camera package. I mean, that is a big deal. It is a big deal, you know, especially with the little guys. So, I mean, on these small camera kits, I, I definitely like the idea of going with a smaller box, lighter weight, and the Zwingaway is perfect for that. You know, Jens and I were discussing the idea of coming up with a Swingaway map box, and it was like, oh, there's, there are a lot of Swingaway map boxes out there, but really, they're large. There aren't really any small Swingaway map boxes. The step one was how do we make the swingway mechanism where you don't have to have a whole other set of rods on the side. Right. Rather than get into a box that included it, we were like, it sort of just came about that, well, wow, we could just make this swingaway adapter. You can use it on any map box. Right, then in rentals, we didn't have to replace all those map boxes. Yeah, exactly. All of a sudden, we have swingaways for all the map boxes we already own. And you know that customers out there are going to love that idea. Exactly. Yeah, they own a map box already. It's like, why do I need to go and spend another however much it is to buy a whole new mat yeah, box. when I can just add a small adapter to the front of my rods and, you know, and the nice thing is that it, you know, it pulls out straight. Oh, that's essential. I mean, there's two key features in this Swingway mat box. One is you gotta be able to come straight out so that you don't have binding when you start trying to hinge and there's a, a, a well, solid donut. Well, you, especially if you're not using a depth of field adapter, you know, um, you know, if you're using like an EX1 or an HVX200, you know, especially with the tight space that you already have with their, with their microphones and everything, you know, you need to be able to come straight out because there isn't any leeway to swing at. Another nice feature about it is that it's a very small rod footprint. Uh, this hardly takes any space up underneath your rods, which, as you know, with these smaller cameras is crucial. I mean, to fit a follow focus, you know, hand grips uh, and other devices underneath there, right. you need and a very small footprint, and this is just that. It's very, very small. It doesn't take up hardly any space. Right. No, that's key. I mean, and sometimes I've even noticed it with like red cameras when you have um, the very small, you know, first generation primes. Right. Yeah. Or any kind of like still lenses on the front. I mean, they make them, you know, a still lens that's 50 millimeters. If you're using that on one of these new cameras, you know, you're talking about four inches maybe. Right. Oh, I have. think even two. So it, it But it, it goes along with our whole universal theme. Uh, this is universal to any camera, any map box. Uh, by having that small rod footprint, it leaves options open. Well, it's got a really interesting locking mechanism too. You know, it's just, it's one lever, which is also a really nice feature. I'm glad you mentioned that because that's another thing is the speed. Yeah. To, you know, to have a swing of a map box is all about speed and to have to fiddle with a knob and un unscrew it and all right. that, it kind of negates that. Yeah, I mean, that's with one little lever swing, boom, you're open and you're shut. That lever thing is awesome. I like how it feels too. When you push it, it's got like this ramping mechanism in there. Yeah, and it so gets that it, tight and you, you know, yeah. kind of bottoms out and you know it's locked. Yeah. Basically all you do is, is you loosen the lever, stick it on your existing 15 millimeter rods, and then you stick your mat box on the new rods that come with the swing away and you flip the lever and swing it open. Swing it back shut, close the lever. It's that simple. There is real no installation. There's no screwing anything on. No, it, it just goes on onto the as if rods. it were a mat box right. or a rod extension or something like that. Yeah. Well, and the, the nice thing too is that there's also the the rods in the front are also threaded, so you know you can you can add extensions if you need to go longer 
or shorter, you know, so you're not limited by that either. We have tested this thing with every box on the market, every one we could find, right. um, and every camera. That You should have ample enough rods with that. No doubt the camera setup and configuration will probably be the most useful for will be DOF setups where you're going right. to be changing, changing the, uh, lenses, those, the lenses out the all the time. On these DSLR setups, mm -hmm. it, you've got so little rod space, it's amazing. It's like a 50 millimeter lens, you could have literally two inches of, of rod space. Well, you know that your follow focus is eating up part of that. Hand grips. grips uh, oh, right, the grips. Yeah, exactly. So you got other stuff on there. Right. So rod space is a big issue. When it's collapsed, it's only eating up what we call one rod space which would be like what a follow focus eats up. So when this is already attached to your mat box, one that you own like this Genus mat box or a Petroff mat box or the small Crozeal mat box. Or the small Vocus is, would be a good one as well. Yeah, I mean you have a what, under pound and a half right. you're, small. You're not adding much to it. Exactly. To reiterate though, any mat box, any camera, any lens actually within reason when using the Zucuto, uh flexible donut. I mean, there's a few ways to do it, but this is right. the simplest, lightest weight, elegant way to do it. Yeah, I, I think it is rather elegant. It's swing away, man, the right way. <laughs> <laughs>